solutions. That's what this video is about. So you may want to stop what you're doing and listen to these three top amazing tips. First, I want to talk about why resolutions don't work but real quick thank you guys for listening to my podcast every tuesday as you can see this youtube channel is super super new i don't know what i'm doing i don't know if it's gonna last but it's all about the dear god are we there your movement so share like make a comment i don't know like i said i don't know where it's going with this but i do know for sure that the podcast is here to stay every tuesday so if you want to be on the show you can email us at hello at dear god are we there yet.com so let me jump into it the number one. Oh, but, but, but wait, wait, wait. Before I start, resolutions don't work because number one, we forget about them. Common sense. I mean, like, we want to do them, we have the desire to do them, and then something happens, life happens, and we're like, we're not going to do them no more. So I want to give you three tips that have helped me in my life, but also things that I've shared with my friends and family and clients in the past that actually have worked. The first one is a good old-fashioned planner. Yes. A planner, not just the regular planner, an important planner, <laughs> a planner in the sense that you're going to actually use. Now, I'm a little obsessive when it comes to my planner because, um, yeah, I like to write things down. I like to see them, but I also like to have fun with them. So I'm going to share a little secret with you of what makes planners so fun so if you're not into planning this might be a really good tip for you and if you have been planning and you had a planner because I'm not really a super big planner um, as far as like planning things but I like to be organized especially if I have to pay bills or I have obligations or I have goals I love my planner but what a lot of people don't know is that sometimes you'll forget to use your planner like January you're all good and you're like yay I got my January down February you're like yay and then as February dwindles down into March you're like Oh, where's my planner? So this is a great tool that I actually started a couple years ago because I'm a visual person and I'm trying to get this out, that's why. Um, I got this planner at Hobby Lobby. Last year I got mine at, uh, where did I get mine? Barnes and Nobles, because I love Barnes and Nobles. Um, but what's really good about this planner is that it closes, as you can see, and um, you can literally, you can actually add things or you can put pages if you need to and the spaces are pretty big as you can see here see they're pretty big now you're like why am I gonna need a planner why am I really gonna use a planner yes you will if you give yourself a reason to use it and you give yourself a visual effect like stickers I love stickers um, it helps you and it's actually proven um, like like with brain games and stuff that it's proven that when you're visually seeing something or you have something that is um, highlighted you're more you're more conscious to not only remember it but also do it so for example these weekly planner stickers you can get them at the Dollar Tree you can get them at um, Hobby Lobby you can get them anywhere but what's really cool is that you actually have time and I know that this sounds a little funny like what am I gonna you're probably thinking like really Alicia you have time to do this yes I do because what happens is that I usually on the weekend Sunday nights before the week or Fridays usually um, before the weekend I like to plan for the next week so if I have to go if I have any appointments or anything and yes I put a sticker on every every little thing my wife just got me these amazing l and l stickers so now i really can use my stickers aren't they so nice look at her that girl um but i also put them in my journal as well not just my stickers again i'm a visual person you might not be a visual person but it is proven that having a planner having things that are written down will help you remember them so maybe adding stickers elements to your uh, planner for next year might be something that you might want to do also making it a habit every friday night instead of or sunday uh, or fridays before you finish work or whatever is planning for the next week so that you have some type of accountability of what you're going to do and how to get prepared um and it's Kind of leading you towards success the second one thing is i call it 30 dirty yes don't plan so much that you forget what what the progress about it is um give yourself credit to start new habits or new things and do it in increments of 30 days they always say it takes 21 days for a habit to kind of stick in I say go full 30 because 30 is what's gonna happen is it's really easy to kind of remember the first the 30th or the 31st but 30 days solid to kind of try out new things in chunks rather than saying oh I'm gonna learn a new language and it's I'm gonna take a year to do it 
No, start the language, learning the language in 30 days. And if it works for you and it sticks and you like it, then set another goal for yourself to do it, to continue it or come back to it and maybe say no. That way you're not committed into something that you don't want to be committed to. Um, so definitely I call it the 30 dirty because it's 30 days of doing something that you might want to trash it later or you might want to say, I want to add this later on, maybe not now, but maybe in June or July in the middle of the year. And the last one I want to say is take social vacations. Again, social vacations, meaning social media vacations. Throughout the year, take time, take time to get off online as much as you can, even if it's for a weekend or a week or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks. Now, I'm really a big believer of business. And as you know, <laughs> I used social media a lot in my business before and I kind of went on a social media rehab because it was just like driving me crazy. But now I'm still involved in social media, but I give myself a schedule. So that's why you see all these videos and all my podcasts on one days a week and one times a week. And then I post sporadically and I create structure and a schedule for myself. But I also take social media vacations as well, which I might not check it or might not see it. So the best way to contact me is my email because I might not listen, look at that DM or PM or whatever you want to call it. So social media vacations also kind of recharge and reignite you and it helps you to focus because what happens is when we're looking at other people's lives and we're being so inspired and motivated and all this stuff, we can kind of, when we close the door, we're kind of like, oh, I'm not really doing that or I wish I was doing that or oh, I don't know and we start doubting ourselves and we start going into these little talks that we don't want so social vacations are a big big win for 2019 oh, look making a mess already all right you guys I hope you guys enjoy this video share it like it whatever you want to call it I don't know how long this is going to be but it is all about the dear god are we there yet movement where it's in my passion to empower and of course a little business and budgets because you know that I love that and of course the movement of dear god are we there yet are we there yet <laughs> have a good one bye